when the dawah stops, that's when the deen goes into decline. And it's a proven fact. There's a mosque in Canada, I think it was last year, that was actually being sold to a church. And to become a church, why? You know, if the mosque activities only become prayer and salam and go outside and no dawah activity whatsoever, then you will see that that mosque within 10, 20 years will be dead. If the dawah can't stay alive, things will be dead. Bosnia, one of the greatest crimes there of the Muslims before the Serbs started to attack them was their masjids were dead. No one was coming. Why? If you look in the history, you'll find out that about 500 years ago, these Muslims were alive in that area. The mosques were buzzing with madrasas and the worshippers and what, what not. But what happened over time is the dawah got cropped. The dawah itself is something that every Muslim has to carry on. Because Rasulullah's mission depends upon us, the, the torchbearers of his mission, the torchbearers of every prophet who's gone by in the past and passed away. Allah has given us that in our hands. You know, the, the least you can do is to give dawah to your family. The least you can do. The least you can do is give dawah to your friends. That's the least you can do to the people who you already know. The best you can do is that you can start to give dawah to people who you do not know, who are not within the circle of practicing, or not within the circle of the deen. And the, the, the moment we stop our dawah, you're going to see a decline in the deen, and may Allah forbid us of that.